Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can create gradient or like rainbow text. Um, I know a lot of people use do this using pixel, pixel RL or something like that. But um, I don't know, I just find it like a bit more complicated to use. So this website makes everything a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to link this in the description. It is free, but it does have some premium um, features. However... It's really easy. So what you want to do is um, when you get to the website, this is the first thing that should pop up. And I'm sorry about my dog. Um, so basically here you type your um, text. So I'm going to go with gradient. And then your um, font size is premium, which means you have to pay for it. However, that doesn't really make a difference because the, um, the text is going to save as a PNG. That way you can input it into PicMonkey or anything like that. So size doesn't really matter. Um, and then here they have text. The only bad thing is that you can't choose your text, like the um, your customized text, the text that you download. Um, you have to choose from here. But there is a lot of really cool choices to choose from. So they have a lot of variety to choose from. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go to... Where is it? Oh. I think it was this one. I can't find it, but there was this cute one. I'm just going to use this one. Okay. Or I don't know. Should I use that one? Um, you kind of just have to play around with it to see which one catches your attention and which one would look good. So... Mm. I don't know what I want to go with. Okay, I'm just going to go with that. So then, you want to click on logo, and this is just kind of um, how you want the gradient to be. So they have a whole bunch of options, which is really cool. So it doesn't have to be just gradient. Um, there's a lot of choices that you have. So, I'm going to go with that one. And then you can outline it. So mine um, is outlined white, but you can definitely change that. So I'm just going to keep mine at white. And here you can change how thick you want the outline size to be. So for example, um, I go to around 3. Uh, I'm going to go to 5 or 4 for today. So then um, you can click a shadow, and I usually just click the glow, um, but you don't have to have any. And then you can just play around with it to see which one you like best. So I'm going to go with drop. Okay. So then um, your background, you just want to click transparent. That way it can work in I, um, not iMovie. In, although you can also use this in iMovie. But for it to work in PicMonkey, so then after you're done, you just want to click next. And you can either click it and put save image as, or you can download it here. You want to go to PicMonkey, you want to go to add your own overlays, and you want to go to computer, and here it is. So I think it's just really easy to use um, rather than other websites. Oh god. So yeah, you can also use these in iMovie and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.